Can you spell your name? S-U-P-E-R-M-A-N. Dearly beloved, sincerely departed. We're just getting started. Salute to the subscribers. That notification gang. Make sure you subscribe to the channel to stay in tune with all the latest content. Salute to every single one of y'all out there. Hope everything is going good with you and your days and that you are achieving all the goals that you aspire to. Um, first and foremost, before we even get started, rest in peace to John Witherspoon, a.k.a. Pop. Your mama told me what happened to you yesterday. How the hell are you going to get fired on your day off? It's all Friday. Uh, we don't usually have in the urban communities a lot of relatable black superstars per se you know and I'm, i know he wasn't the biggest actor and things like that but he was funny he did play a prominent role in a lot of 80s and 90s babies lives wayne's brothers show friday most notably and a lot of the other films and things that he did you know we can never i know i can never forget that i was actually watching some of his vlad work you know Vlad's about to do 2.8 million flashback videos of John Witherspoon for the next 10 years. They be milking it. Um, I remember I was watching a Vlad interview where he was talking about the original Friday. And he said that he only made five grand off Friday, the original one, 5,000. But at the time, he looked at it like he could pay his rent for some months. And he was happy with it. But the fact that our culture, you know, the black urban communities, had got that movie and they basically ad-libbed the whole movie. There was a script, but they just went off of what they thought and ad-libbed it. And it turned out to be a huge success. I know a lot of us always wanted to see another Friday with Chris Tucker and with Ice Cube, but uh, he said that the reason why that movie wasn't gonna happen was because Chris Tucker, you know, he had gotten to the church and things like that and they didn't want him to be, you know, showing, smoking weed and things like that, being smoky. Like he could not be the original character that he was. But I know for a lot of us, you know what I'm saying, like, Pops <laughs> is going to forever be remembered, you know what I'm saying? Especially when you watch Friday. I hit the pussy! You know what I'm saying? Bang! Like, uh, come on, man. But uh, let's get into it. Hollow to Don versus Danny Myers. Hollow to Don versus Danny Myers. I had brought you this story like a couple weeks ago that they were talking about potentially battling, but... The word that I'm getting from inside sources is that, that this battle is actually going to happen and more than likely happen before the end of the year. Not all the way next year like Loaded Lux and Daylight is supposed to happen. Which is cool. I, when those two forces meet, I'll, we'll be right there watching. But uh, Danny Myers and um, Loaded Lux, I mean Danny Myers and... Hollow to Dawn, I would like to see him versus Lux too. But Danny Myers and Hollow to Dawn are on a crash course to meet. Danny Myers posted, you don't want to miss this one. Be there and witness battle rap history. I didn't come all this way to let another MC be the GOAT. There will only be one, now or never. Bar God, GOAT, this ain't regular rap. You know, Danny Myers is basically, he's, he said some dates. I'm not going to put them out there. You know, I'll let them deal with the logistics but we spoke pr briefly and he told me some potential dates but the dates are within 2019 we only got november and december and it ain't gonna be on thanksgiving so i'm just gonna put it like you know what i mean put it together hold up hold up hold up let me get it together let me get it together you know what i'm saying um you know i'm only here to say what they're scared to say but um you know if this battle does happen i'm hearing that it's not going to be on any league these brothers are going to come together and put together their own production, take their own power, and put together a battle rap event for the culture. Hollow to Don definitely has a big enough name to pull this off. Danny Myers has a big enough name along with Hollow to Don to pull this off. Will it be just a one-on-one -on -one battle or will there be other battles on the card? I don't know. Hopefully there will be other battles on the card. I asked Danny Myers, I said, you let me know in good enough time. I will go. I will go to a non-league sponsored event, no league involved, just regular, y'all putting the event together, I will go and bring Showtime too. Stop playing with me, you know what I do. But um, yeah, so I, if he does put it together in good enough time that he lets people know when it's gonna happen, I mean, I think it would be a, definitely a dope event to support because these guys coming together could potentially produce a classic. You know, Holler Don, obviously he coming off of the Loaded Hollows versus 
gun cakes, guns and cakes, gun cake life, guns and cakes battle, you know, that they did pretty good in. They did all, they, they did their numbers in. And now for him to battle against a Danny Myers in a one-on-one, -on -one, that would potentially be fire because, you know, Danny Myers, he's going to bring it. He's going to bring you three rounds. He's going to rebuttal. He's going to be all in Hollow's face. He's going to be throwing his hat. Bar God, bar God. And you know Danny Myers is always in the comment section. He's always, you know, speaking his opinion, you know, and people are always in tune with how he feels. I'm sure he will be in these comments below. He will be there. Danny Myers, like, lives in the YouTube comment section, you know, forever and ever. I feel like he's been having a phenomenal year. Uh, he's been having some phenomenal years. Myself, along with others, have been speaking high praises of him. There was times... See, the thing about Danny Myers, no more notes needed. The thing about Danny Myers, like, he made a lot of questionable career moves. And those were the ones that kind of stifled his career. Um, obviously, there'll always be people talking about the 12,000 with Rex. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about other career moves, like some of the battles that he took and how he goes on these like one round battle sprees where he'll battle like everybody from Taco Bell Tony to you know William from Wendy's and the Walmart Willie. Like he'll battle all of these just no name people. And I understand that you know he's giving shots and things like that. But is your money being longer worth your life being shorter? You know why could you not just go fly in the friendly skies like Danny Myers? I understand that battle rap pays your bills, but when we see you every single day and we know everybody can get you, it kind of took away from your brand a little bit. But I understand when you got family, you got kids, you know what I'm saying, you got bills to pay, and Battle Rap is doing it, you know what I'm saying? I know Danny is not working at Checkers, so he's not going to a 9 to 5 every day, so I get why he's doing it. But at the same time, the fact that we can see you every week of the year, it kind of it kind of took a little hit. But once you started getting the bigger names and the top tier guys, you know what I'm saying, to come outside the house for you, it started to bode better for you, starting with like K-Shine and, and the disaster. You know what I'm saying? Like you started getting bigger names to come outside. Like that means a lot. And then you started actually getting some respect on URL. That was the, another issue. Like you would be battling, but you wouldn't get no real battles on URL. You got the K-Shine, you got Chef Trez, you know what I'm saying? You took a fucking disaster over there on King of the Dot. So that helped build your resume to where now, if you battle a Hollow to Dawn, it's not looked at from left field like, well, what is he getting him for? You know what I'm saying? It makes it more respectable to me at least, you know? And I know a lot of us, we control our own narrative when it comes to media, you know? Like a lot of people are not on social media. A lot of people do not have Twitter. A lot of people do not be on Facebook. Shit, I don't even use Facebook like that. I might go on Facebook two, three times a year. So the information that people get, it comes from bloggers, you know what I'm saying? These guys subscribe and they, you know, religiously watch the content and that fills them with what's going on because they know that you're going to get a point of view, whether it's, you know, a point of view from you or from somebody else. Watch whoever you want. I would never be the type of person that's like, yo, I'm better than them or this person's better than me. Like, that doesn't matter because as long as I'm providing the folks that subscribe to what I'm doing, what they want to see, then I'm cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, they want to see Showtime SP. We keep it. Like, Showtime SP is the GOAT, though. You know what I'm saying? So I understand why. I honestly feel like he does a better job than me. But that's neither here nor there. So, uh, you know, we continue to provide information that people want to see. So, Danny Myers versus Hollow the Don. Expect the unexpected is all I'm going to say. These guys are on a crash course to battle each other. And I definitely respect the fact that they would take the battle from leagues and do it on their own. Because I've said this time and time again as battle rappers, y'all control the power. Y'all are the power. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all are the ones that make this whole thing work. Without y'all, there is no me. Without y'all, there is no leagues. Without y'all, there is nothing. Because it's the talent that we talk about. You know? I've made a pretty good hobby, life, talking about battle rap. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a very good source of additional income just talking about battle rap. But without y'all, <laughs> we don't do anything. Without y'all, the leagues don't do anything. The leagues, how the leagues gonna put on without y'all? So for now on, I mean, I, I would definitely expect and respect people stepping outside of the box and starting their own pay-per-view. You know what I'm saying? You guys have thousands and thousands of people that follow you on Instagram. Thousands of people that follow y'all on Twitter. 
you think they wouldn't subscribe or you think they wouldn't watch you guys have your own battles. That's why I don't understand, like, a lot of the time, like, why battlers don't sell their merchandise. Like, Hollow the Dawn does a phenomenal job of it. But I never understood, like, you have people that buy into you, but you don't have anything to sell for them to purchase. You know what I'm saying? I ain't talking about fucking putting out merch and then not sending the shit out. Like, that's crazy. You know what I'm saying? I've heard that way too much where people are putting out merchandise and fans are not getting their stuff. I pride myself on the fact that I've never, ever missed a single order and we've sold hundreds and hundreds of sweaters and things like that and more sweaters are coming rice gang down my shop i gotta come log on to get your merchandise but um more sweaters will be coming but we've never ever 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 missed a single order and i pride myself on that because people do not go to work and spend their hard earned want money to be looking around like where's my stuff you know what i mean i let them know everybody know things take three to five business days once we get it prepared it's out the door for you but, uh, you know, battle rappers should get more into the in the business of marketing themselves, you know. I'm literally a, a nigga in front of a camera and people will buy merchandise because they support that. And salute to everyone who has. But um, other than that, Hollow the Don versus Danny Myers. They are on a crash course to meet each other. Also, if you haven't seen Oops, salute to Bruce Frank's Oops trailer. For St. Louis Superman, it's out right now. MTV put the trailer out. Um, he's got a documentary that's pretty much talking about the oppression and things that go on in St. Louis and a lot of the urban communities from as far as, you know, police brutality, Mike Brown, and how his rise to be from a battle rapper to a state representative. It highlights pretty much all of that. I did have the um, extreme pleasure of being able to watch the documentary in its entirety before it comes out, but... Uh, I definitely think that's something that we should support. As fans, you know, we support when people get into fights and when people do all type of dumb shit like that, we need to come together and support something that has a relevant cause. That is about our people. That is about our communities and what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Because we all have a voice and something as simple as a retweet or a view of, a, of something of that magnitude, I think we definitely should be doing. I'm definitely supporting the oops in that and I will be watching it and talking about it more as it drops. But other than that, you already know what to do, man. I'm only here to say what they're scared to. Who them titties need to be sucked on?